And the Charlie Hall Chase is next, and this is the first real big chase of the season in Britain, and it's a three mile one furlong grade two. We have a gold cup point of early season one anyway, and magical times is at the top for David Hooley, a winner last week. Crackled for Alex Cherry, Q card for David Hooley, Geraldo for Darren Thompson, Ardglass Judith for David Robertson, Blood Eagle for Leon Van Rensburg, Bronwyn Killing for David Robertson. Catherine, a great Paul Rhodes, Dawn of the New Age, Joshua Sutherland, found her voice, Leon Van Rensburg, just Rosie Craig Beckwith, Lintz, Darren Thompson, Weeby Clarity, Martin Leenham, and What No Son, Craig Beckwith, called in and away then. And this should be an interesting race, to say the least, with some big stables represented by their potential Gold Cup charges, I would think. And what a two, not as they get to the first. Uh, they're all safely over the first of the 22 and found her voice looks like he's going to settle down into the lead as they get to the second and the second is a ditch and they're all safely over it and going well enough there and found her voice uh, has quickly gone on into a full length lead going into fence number three and there's a fall of there something's down it's just rosie's gone so just rosie's out of it for craig beckwith so bad luck for craig there he's I think he's got another one in there, as he? Yeah, I think he's still got another one in there as well. What no son is still going. So they come past the winning post then. With a couple of circuits to go. And found her voice is clear by six lengths. To Geraldo in second and then Dawn of the New Ages after that. Then Catherine the Great and Ardglass Judith the Grey is next. And stable companion to that one. Bronwyn Killen is just the back marker with What No Son ahead of that one. And David Hooley's pair also running together towards the back cue card and magical times. But it's found her voice who's gone six or seven lengths clear. One of the two Leon Van Rensburg horses in this. And most people seem to think the other one, Blood Eagle, is the one that's going to win. But Leon tells me that this is the best chaser he's ever had as he gets to the fifth. And there's a faller at the back there, and it's Magical Times that's gone. So Magical Times was a winner last week and would be quite well fancied in this, I would have thought. But he's now out of the race. And they get over number six, and they're all safely over number six. And found her voice is in the lead. And Leon's got high hopes for this one this season. I think he thinks it's almost nailed on for the Gold Cup. But it's in the lead at the moment. It fell last week, which is pretty uncharacteristic. So he tells me he's looking for a decent performance today as they get over number eight. So found her voice then is clear by a good six lengths to Weeby Clarity who's now moved into second. Then Dawn of the New Age's third. Cue cards after that one as they take that ditch which they all get over nicely. Blood Eagle the stable companion to the leader is just the back marker now. And they found her voice just being given a bit of a breather by the jockey. The lead is now down to a little more than two and a half lengths. Q card has moved through into second. Closest to us in the red and the yellow is Catherine the Great for Paul Rose. The rest of the field are pretty tightly grouped with Blood Eagle and Lintz at the back at this stage. They've still got a fair old way to go and found her voice is clear in front by three lengths to Catherine the Great second. Then comes Crackled and Q card. The grey on class Judith is after that one. We be clarity between them as they get over the next good jump there. Was by Geraldo. Seen it go past the couple. Right over on the far rail. Bronwyn Killen is getting a little bit closer as they take the next ditch and suddenly found her voice's lead is down to her head as she's almost joined with Catherine the Great. So found her voice and Catherine the Great then. So the mayor's one and two as they take number 12. Then comes. Oh, there's a faller at the back there. Lintz has gone. So another big stable loses one of its charges as Lintz has gone for Darren Thompson over the 13th and found her voice and Catherine the Great are in the lead as they come past the big screen, past the winning post, and they'll swing out then for one more circuit of the track in this Charlie Hall chase. And it's found her voice who leads by about a head to Catherine the Great on the outside second. Gap of three lengths then to Q Card, who's in third. Then comes Crackled after that one. Hardglass Judith the Grey being joined by stablemate Bronwyn Killing on the inside. Then after that one comes What No Son and Geraldo. Dawn of the New Age is getting boxed in on the rail. Trying to come round the outside is Blood Eagle and Weeby Clarity has now dropped to the back. But it's Catherine the Great and found her voice together. Catherine the Great might just 
be in the lead as they come down towards the next but found her voice reasserts and goes ahead up as they take that next one out jump though there by Catherine the Great who's now leading by half length it's Catherine the Great in the lead found her voice is in second gap of two lengths back to Bronwyn Killian and what no son of a third and fourth over that ditch they go they all got over it nicely and suddenly the leading pair are joined by Bronwyn Killian then comes what no son Geraldo's running on as well Q card is still there as they get over the 16th bit of a slow jump by Bronwyn Killian but found her voice is still just the leader over the 17th leads by a length to Catherine the Great who's a little untidy then comes Bronwyn Killian Geraldo Dawn of the New Age has now got a clear run and he's making significant progress as they race down towards the next the 18th the next ditch and over it they all go and it's also a fall right out the back it's hard glass Judith the Grey that's gone but it's found her voice who's still in the lead found her voice by a length to in second place Catherine the Great Bronwyn killing his third then comes Dora the New Age Geraldo's after that one and then Q Garden what no son and then a gap back to Blood Eagle crackled his after that and Weeby Clarity's tailing off but it's found her voice who's kicked on for home Catherine the Great starts to drop back Bronwyn killing is still there in second and found her voice has found a second win and is now two or three lengths clear coming down towards the next fence with a lead of about three lengths to Bronwyn killing in second this is the 19th over it they go and the leader is three or four clear of Bronwyn Killing in second Geraldo's moving up into third on the outside then Catherine the Great Dawn of the New Age over the final ditch there's two more fences to take and found her voice is four lengths clear of Bronwyn Killing in second Geraldo Dawn of the New Age over the second last leader was a bit slow Bronwyn Killing down on her nose in second then comes Geraldo and Dawn of the New Age Catherine the Great's trying to get going again found her voice pops over the last she's six clear now and she's surely going to take this one pretty cosily and up towards the line found her voice becomes the anti post favourite for the Gold Cup with a comfortable win Bronwyn Killen is going to be second Catherine the Great third then Dora New Age Geraldo and Q Garden what no son Blood Eagle crackled and finally we beat Clarity and a thrilling and dramatic race with a pretty impressive winner and Found her voice takes it for Leon Van Rensburg. Bronwyn Killing for David Robertson was second. Catherine the Great Paul Rhodes was third. Dawn of the New Age Joshua Sutherland was fourth. And Geraldo for Darren Thompson was fifth.